cold. Frosty. And I'm so bossy. And I'm so saucy. And my clothes cost me light for the party. Always hey, kings and queens. This is Queen Tajay back with another video. And today I will be doing a raw glitter and cow print nail design so i've already prepped my nails cleaned her cuticles removed the shine from her natural nail plate blended my tip applied my dehydrator and my primer and then my clear acrylic now i am going to go straight in with my application i am using disco from a uh, c-tones acrylic this is a glow in the dark um, pink but unfortunately as always i forgot to get a picture of it glowing so um I am just applying my acrylic as uh, smooth as possible and making sure that I pat my side so I keep the shape of my nails so I have less fouling to do. And then basically um, for the next few minutes I will just be doing the base of my design and then I will come back in and speak about um, the nail art. As you can see from this nail, I did use uh, Young Nails Core White. Um, I spilled my C-Tones uh, Great White Shark. So I had a backup plan, which is this Young Nails. And of course, I love Young Nails as well. So I applied my Young Nails. But I also want to be clear that when you're working with clear, uh, excuse me, colored acrylic and white um, acrylic or very light colors along with bright colors make sure you are cleaning your brush I almost had this problem but I made sure to correct myself immediately so you will see sometimes in this video I keep wiping my brush just because that is because I do not want any of the pink color in my brush while I pick up any white acrylic that will totally mess up my design also pay attention at how I am laying my acrylic. I am picking up my medium or large size beads, placing it down, and then patting from side to side. I'm not wiping too much. Um, I'm still getting the rhythm of not wiping. It's just a habit because I've been doing it so long. Um, but just because I've been doing it so long doesn't mean that that's the correct way. So when you apply a bead, you make sure you sit it down and go your nail downward and pat that bead of acrylic all the way down to the free edge. You only wipe when you're blending um, your acrylic. This glitter is also from C-Tones Acrylic, but it was sent to me as a thank you gift. So I'm not sure if it is on her website, but I will look for you all. If it is, I will link it below. If not, I do apologize and hopefully she does add it because I love this mixture. It's just beautiful.
So I do want to say that I ended up encapsulating a pinky nail because I had already closed my uh, pink acrylic. But when it's a full uh, colored nail, as long as you put a clear, um, a thin layer of clear so that it doesn't stain your nails, you can really build that whole nail up with colored acrylic. I just had already closed my pink acrylic, so I just grabbed some of that clear and encapsulated that pinky nail. But right now, I am just tapping my nails, making sure I hear that beautiful clicking sound so that I can go in with my... Uh, zebra file and perfect my shape and file my nails make sure everything is smooth enough so I can do my designs on top and apply my top coat also in this video I did not use my comb bit because it was upstairs um, drying I did clean my tools and I just did not bring all of them downstairs so I used my zebra file to make sure that my my client's cuticle area was smooth enough it's not too thick it's not too thin it is just right again you can always do this with a hand file it's just easier with a um, comb bit because you know it's faster with the e-file but it is not always necessary After I'm done shaping and filing, I am now going to go in with my black gel polish and my dotting tool to create my cow print um, nail design. So as you can see right here, I'm just using little bits of, um, not little bits, but little drops of black gel polish and kind of wiggling it around. I don't want them too perfect. I want them uh cow print I don't want them too perfect cow print is not perfect it's not always the same so I'm just putting little dots with my dotting tool I'm using my big dotting tool and I am using the smallest dotting tool so I can make little um, smudges in between the big ones and I'm just going to do that for the ring fingernail and the middle fingernail so as I'm doing these um, designs with my black gel polish, I am going to flash cure them for 10 seconds. Not 5, but, but 10, just to be on the safe side. As you all know, gel is very tricky, and um, that is one reason why I don't use gel polish that much. i rather do designs with my acrylic. But um, make sure that you flash cure because if you let that polish sit and you move on to the next uh, nail then that gel polish will start spreading and smearing and it may mess up your whole nail. After I'm done flash carrying my cow print nail designs, I am going to go back to my pinky nail, which is pink, and I am going to apply my C-Tones non-wipe gel top coat and then sprinkle on some uh, raw glitter. I want to give the illusion like it's not encapsulated. I don't want it smooth. I want it kind of rough to where you can feel the glitter on top of the nail. And then I'm just going to go onto my other nails because those are finished, and I am going to also apply my non-wipe gel top coat 
and I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. C-Tones non-wipe gel top coat does not have to cure for a whole 60 seconds. You can cure for 30 seconds and it's not going to be sticky at all. So now I'm going to clean around all of the nails and remove some more of that dust and that loose glitter with uh, some alcohol on a paper towel. Um, you are not going to see it right here, but I did end up like fouling around the nails just a little bit after I cured them. Uh, I wouldn't even say foul, more like buffing around so that I didn't lose that shape. You all know that sometimes gel polish and gel top coat can make you lose the shape of your nails and you do not want that. So if you have to lightly buff your nails after you cure them, go ahead and do so so right here is her next hand and it's just going to be the same thing but you're going to see me apply my dehydrator my primer and my clear acrylic and then go in with my nail designs both of the hands have the same color scheme nothing has changed except i did um two cow print nails and two glitter nails So again, I'm going to go in with my beautiful pink color and apply that all over the nail. Full coverage is not going to be an ombre. Um, and I also want to mention that this is a freestyle set because I started to notice that I do a lot of ombre and marble. So I want it to be outside the box for me and, um, you know, just do a freestyle that did not have a lot of marbling and a lot of ombre. So, uh, yeah. The pinky nail and the ring fingernail will be both pink and then the middle and the index finger nails will be cow prints and then um, I believe I did the thumb glitter. So I hope you all like this. I'm not going to talk too too much while um, doing this hand because like I said it's basically the same thing just different on different fingernails.
So as you can see in this hand, I am going to start encapsulating these nails with glitter because I didn't apply enough of that colored acrylic. And sometimes when you keep adding on beads of colored acrylic, one, it could get way too thick. Two, you can have uh, spots and spouches on your um, nail because of the pigment. So I just went ahead and uh, applied my ultra clear acrylic from C-Tone. Sorry, I'm going blank. But I just went in with my clear acrylic only because, you know, I just did not want all of those spots and I didn't want my nail to get too thick from all of that colored acrylic. But you don't always have to do this. Like I said, it's not always necessary to encapsulate your colored acrylic. That's just to stretch out your um, acrylic and your products. So after encapsulating all of my nails, I'm going to go in and start shaping and fouling. And then once I am done shaping and fouling, I am going to go straight in and start doing my cow print on both my middle ring fingernail and my index ring fingernail or my clients. I'm sorry. And again, I'm just going in with my black gel polish and just doing splouches and all over the nail. Uh, different sizes, medium, large, and small. So you will see me use different ends of my dotting tool to make all of these dots.
Watch you all see that I have, she did bump her nail in the light and got some of that black on her. So I'm going to fix that at the end of the full set and you will see that. But right here, I'm just going to apply that non wipe gel top coat from C-Tones again. And then I am going to apply my raw glitter in Cure. So after Karen, I am going to go back to that ring finger where she bumped it into that black gel polish. And then I'm just going to buff that slightly off. After I'm done, I'm going to take a cotton ball with um, alcohol and just clean up her hands and around her cuticles and apply my cuticle oil. And then I am done and ready for my pictures. As always, I want to thank you kings and queens for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click on that notification bell so you know when I post. And I will see y'all later. Bye.